We've all struggled with keeping track of our never ending to-do lists, but what if I told you that you could create an interactive to-do list in Excel that automatically tracks your progress and crosses off completed tasks. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build this step-by-step. -step. Let's get started. Here we have a basic to-do list of all the tasks we need to complete, and we want to make this a little bit more exciting by adding checkboxes that automatically format completed tasks and track our progress at the bottom. This will give us a little bit more motivation to complete each task. To create an interactive to-do list, first we need to insert checkboxes in the status column by selecting the cells where we want to add checkboxes, navigating to the insert tab, and selecting the checkbox command. Now we have a checkbox next to each task that we can check off once it's complete. Next, we need to calculate how many tasks we've completed and how many are left to go. To calculate the number of tasks complete, we need to use the COUNTIF function to count how many checkboxes are checked. So I'm going to enter COUNTIF, select all the checkboxes as the range argument, and set the criteria equal to true to count all of the checked checkboxes. To calculate how many tasks we have left to complete, we need to subtract the total number of completed tasks from the total number of tasks. To do this, enter the COUNT A function and select all the checkboxes to calculate the total number of tasks, and then subtract the cell that contains our number of tasks we've completed. Now watch what happens when we check off a task. Our progress values automatically update. Last but not least, we need to add conditional formatting to automatically strike through and highlight completed tasks dark gray. To do this, select all the tasks and checkboxes, open the conditional formatting dropdown on the Home tab, and select New Role. Choose Use a Formula to determine which cells to format, and now we need to enter a formula that checks to see if the corresponding check box is checked. So I'll enter an equal sign, select the first checkbox, and then lock the column in place so that our formula is only checking the value of the checkbox. Finally, add formatting to the completed rows by clicking Format and adding your styling. I'm going to add a strike through effect in a dark gray fill color to cross out and gray out the task once it's complete, but you can select any formatting you want here. Hit OK to save the role, and now anytime we check off a task, it's automatically crossed off and grayed out. This is so satisfying. To wrap up, we covered how to create an interactive to-do list in Excel using checkboxes, formulas, and conditional formatting. Hopefully now you're feeling extra motivated to start checking things off your to-do list. If you found this video helpful, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more Excel tips and tricks.